So today we'll be reviewing two Someone will film me. Oh. So today we'll, so today we'll. Hey guys, it's Dustin. Welcome. Today is going to be my first video. This is not something that I'm definitely used to doing. Um, it's not in my comfort zone at all. I couldn't do my first video without introducing my two, two, oh, blow of nuggets. Stella, you can put these, you my fur babies. Stella, and then Finley. Okay, so today's video is basically going to be kind of a review meets unboxing meets comparison video of the multiple Louis Vuitton canvas wallet, and it'll be a fake versus the real. I hope this video serves its purpose, and I hope you guys get some kind of information that can educate you on your next purchase. Let's get started. First, talk about the box. Yes, not important, but you know, some people like that that experience whenever they, they do shop Louis Vuitton, and that's something that they definitely pride themselves in is the customer experience. This is going to always be the fake one, will be the real product. Very big difference in size, and you can tell that there's so much better quality just in the real box itself. The writing here is lifted. And then when we look at the fake one, um, it's just kind of printed on. The box is kind of wrinkling a little bit in the top corner. Um, the little blue ribbons that are in the front, they both kind of come the same design. Okay, so now we will start with the unboxing, okay? So let's go ahead and start with the real Louis Vuitton wallet. So it kind of pulled out the little box here. Very smooth to pull out. Um, Okay, so it comes with this little dust bag. The material itself is pretty soft. And it also came with, it's kind of neat. So they give you just a blank cord. It's like a little nugget mini envelope. Some people really don't care about those little bitty things. Obviously the product itself is probably the most important thing than anything. Because you're definitely going to be carrying around the wallet. not not the box. So let's go ahead and open up the fake Louis Vuitton. Okay, so we're gonna open, same sliding. Yeah. So inside the box, you have a, oh, they even have a dust bag too. Um, it color is, yellowish you can kind of see the print is just like smearing a little bit and then when you look at the rail here it's definitely a lot more of like white Alrighty, so now we're gonna go ahead and open up and remove them from their dust bags okay let's start with the real one remove them from the dust bag and Um, it definitely smells like leather. The stitching, just like on the canvas and the stitching itself, the print, everything is just so well made. So you definitely can see the work that was put into making this wallet. Yeah, so nice. Sorry, I'm here like drooling over this. This very 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 good wallet okay so next up we'll review the fake Louis Vuitton wallet along the side literally you can tell where the stitching is that there's already like I guess where they put like the waxing around the edges or they coat it with like some sort of material that it has like a dip in it, kind of a little bit, and that's like first glimpse. So, will you be able to tell this from four way? Probably not, no, I doubt. So you can already tell just on first glimpse of the product, I guess 
these are just minor minor details um in regards to the compartments and everything in the wallet yeah so it seems pretty much the same like you have your three cord holders and then you have the little slot for your id still same two compartments size wise seem to be pretty much the same overall is there anything that's like so terrible no and it's just super super minor things and it's really not again to some consumers it would not be really a big deal yeah so it's really not bad i guess in regards to the quality um however whatever you get from your seller you're not guaranteed to have the same quality as i am in my wallet so again this is by no means saying that you're, you know the wallet that you may get is going to be of the same quality i mean it may, may be completely different so that's a chance you're you're taking when you do buy a counterfeit product again which is i, I just I wouldn't suggest it this is just sole purpose on the video um and just to kind of educate you guys okay so now let's go ahead and compare them side by side looking at the two products i'll put them up here i'll shake again this is going to be the fake one and this one's going to be the real one um the coloring is a little different is it major no the real one smells a lot more like leather yeah, in regards to the feel, the fake one feels a little bit softer. So you're probably not gonna get much use out of it when you're looking at like the durability of both of them. Now, when we open up the wallet, looking at the shade of color on the inside, again, this is the real, this is the fake. You can definitely tell a difference in color. For me, I love the color. The real one a lot more i just found like the quality of this one is just so much better like the leather has more of a shine to it you can definitely smell the difference it smells like really really good they both state something different but this is the fake and then this one's the real as you can kind of see like on the fake one it says louis vuitton paris made in france and then on the real one it says louis vuitton paris so is there much of a difference um I can tell, but that's me. Now, if I've just kind of had maybe the fake one by itself or the room by itself, I honestly, I don't know if I, I, I would be able to tell much of a difference. The biggest thing is, is you're going to get what you pay for, especially in the minor details. So here you're going to get better customer service. Good customer service is something so hard to come by. So I think that's one of the most important things I think I look for when I purchase a product. The quality of the product is impeccable. You can just tell like the seal on the edges here is just like impeccable. Um, the stitching on this side is, on the real one is impeccable. The smell, I think that was my favorite thing. Isn't it weird that I like the smell? <laughs> Oh, sorry. Yeah, so the smell is really good. Now, when you're looking at this one in comparison, huh? will I pay $495 for something that's going to be of a fake product and be of this quality? No. Details, just little bitty things. Just you can tell that it's it's not a $495 wallet. I, some people might say, yes, only $23 serves its purpose you may have to repurchase this and if that's okay with you then that's fine but the real one the real ones you're guaranteed to have just good service and i know louis vuitton that you can they do repairs on products some people prefer better quality and certain items in their lifestyle than others it's whatever kind of floats your boat kind of thing okay so now we're gonna go ahead and review i guess the biggest difference between the two products the price so the price of the Real Louis Vuitton wallet is $195. Yeah. So it is a bit pricey, especially for a wallet. Um, now we're looking at the fake wallet is a measly $23. That is definitely the biggest difference when you're comparing the real versus the fake. In regards to shipping, a big difference in shipment. So when I ordered the real one, I ordered it off the website. It came in, in like less than a week. Fake one. It took almost a little bit over a month to come in. I guess one estimate that may vary based on the, the seller that you buy it from. But for me, my personal experience, 
yeah, the product came in um, a little over a month. A big difference when you're looking at shipment between the two. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any questions, um, go ahead and comment down below. If you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. And then also hit the bell notification to be notified whenever I do post another video. Also, I do have an Instagram. I am going to post different material there. That is a new account. So yeah, new beginnings. I'm excited about this. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. And again, I hope you got something from this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye guys. Tell them